get a... You didn't drop anything under the table and go look for it, did you? One time, just to see if I still had it. <laughs> oh, God. That was you? That was you? <laughs> Where will you get a load of the chick I fixed him up with? Ta-da! I'm late. I had to dig up a brassiere that hooks in the front. <laughs> that was nice. Do you want a cigarette? No, no, I told you I quit. Here, put those away before my dad walks in. I'd like to live long enough to see if Ross and Rachel actually get together. <laughs> Boy, your dad catching Fran really freaked you out. Yeah, it's almost like they set this whole thing up to scare me out of smoking. Oh, no, they couldn't have, though. My dad's a really bad actor. <laughs> Niles, psst, Niles. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Miss Fine allowed you to catch her smoking simply to teach Miss Margaret a lesson that would be more effective than you screaming at her, thereby breaking her of a disgusting habit and keeping your fragile relationship intact? <laughs> Yes, that. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. <laughs> she does have a certain unique way of dealing with the children. Okay, well, we gotta make Maggie beautiful. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Shut up, Brighton. Hey, be nicer to your sister. Why, because we're a family? Yes, that's right. And someday, your father's gonna be old and sick. You're gonna want him to live with her. <laughs> Everything you need to know about a man, you can find right in his cart. If there's a box of Midal, keep moving. <laughs> Corn pants means he lives with his mother. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> and if you see two guys with sweaters tied around their necks buying pesto, save yourself the pain. <laughs> what about him? Mm, let's see. Cabbage, chili, refried beans. Whew. One dinner with him and you spend the rest of the night blaming the dog. <laughs> me like that. What's going on? That, that boy was mauling her on the balcony. It was just a kiss. He kissed you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your first kiss? That's so exciting. <gasps> Let me get the camera. <laughs> oh, God, Niles, what have I done? Well, let's see, you insulted her intelligence. There was a rhetorical question, Niles. <laughs> well, what, what would you do if someone was missing? Well, that depends on who it is. If it were Miss Babcock, well, you know how much I love her. I hope he got dead in that dress. You'd have to be dead six months to fit into it. He wants his contracts in London by morning. Well, here, hop on. With the time difference, you'll just make it. <laughs> Unwanted dirt just slides right off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there, there. Now, don't do anything rash. Maggie, go see if you can find some bottles. Niles, do we have any old nipples around the house? No. All right, Niles, I give up. Look, since Miss Fine is so damn smart, if I were missing, what would she do? Well, knowing our little Margie, <laughs> she'd run next door to Roger Clinton's and have him call the FBI. Oh, don't be absurd. No one in their right mind's gonna... <laughs> get my coat. <laughs>